All right, hi everybody, welcome back. I'm Dorothy. Thanks for joining me. So right now, I want to talk about November and what's going on with that. So right now, let me just give you a brief synopsis of November. So, November's energy, the astrological energy is Scorpio for the most part. With the sun already in the sign of Scorpio, you know, we're looking to be a little more intense. We're looking at clearing the things that have been part of our lives for a very long time that we want to get rid of because Scorpio is very well known for uh, transformation. And for things to transform, we need to see what really is the root of, of any issue or the cause of issues that we might have in our lives. So this is an opportunity uh, once a year, especially when the sun moves through that Scorpio energy for us to be made aware of what is deep within, what is hidden from ourselves, what we hide from ourselves, or where this transformation in our lives need to happen. And so we're going to work with that because we have many planets moving through the sign of Scorpio and a few others, and we'll get to the details of that in a second. So wherever you have Scorpio in your chart, I will be addressing that by talking about each zodiac sign next and how that plays out for you. Okay, Sag, this one's for you, and I'm all fresh. I had to pause here. I couldn't get them all done in one day. Ran out of battery juice. So we're up on the next day, and so I want to talk to you about the Scorpio energy that's present for this month for you, and then we'll have some Sag energy too. So starting on November 2nd, um, we have Mercury moving into the sign of Scorpio. Now this is Mercury moving into your solar 12th house. And when that happens, typically <clears throat> most people don't have zero degrees of any zodiac sign on any house cusp. So I'm going to give this a few days here or there, knowing what your 12th house cusp number is. But if you don't, no worries. The energy of this, it represents um, a deep need to understand what's going on in the world around you. Mercury is, is a very social planet and it's all about communicating with ourselves and with others and how we think and when you when it moves through that 12th house we have a three week period where we're able to really dig in deep um, into the undercurrent of life to see what's going on for ourselves and especially with it in the sign of Scorpio. You already own Scorpio in that sector so you're comfortable with this with this activity anyways. So Realize that starting around November 2nd and for the three weeks after that, following that period, there is a, a, a time for you to really go within and uh, understand what's going on behind the surface, behind the scenes for yourself, okay, because that's what that sector is all about. On the same day, though, we also have Venus and Mars are conjunct in the sign of Virgo, and that's in your solar 10th house. So with Virgo in that sector, this tells me, in, in some cases, it's, it's a lot about paying attention to the details of a love relationship. That's what Mars and Venus together can represent. But also for you, um, it's in the 10th house area, and that is your career. So there could be um, just some fine tuning that needs to happen um, and some action that needs to be taken um, at your work, at your career, what you're known for, okay? That career, that uh, higher, that uh, 10th house, there we go, can also rep be represented by um, I don't know, what our what our social status is, like a married person or a single person, and there might be something going on there as well. So if you're in a marriage or a long-term relationship, that's that's well known. Um, there could be some adjustments that need to be made with that. All right, I'm going to move on. November 11th, no, November 8th. I'll start with November 8th. Venus enters the sign of Libra. This is all about relationships. All right, because they just talked about her, but she's only a few days out from moving into Libra as well as Mars. And Mars moves into Libra on, uh, let's see, November 12th. And those move into your 11th house, which is very social. It's all about your friendships. The, the causes that are interesting to you, you know, what, what means something to you as far as the grand scale of things. It's kind of Aquarian energy. So we're, when Venus and Mars in the, move into that sector, into the sign, once they get into the sign of Libra, you're looking for harmony and balance amongst your friends and amongst the groups that you are uh, interested in or part of. So there'll be some shift for you there. Backing up one day, we have uh, the new moon in the sign of Scorpio on the 11th of November. So 11-11, that new moon in Scorpio. 
new moons represent setting goals and it gives us a couple of weeks it's it's you know the eclipses some of the eclipses are still in effect depending on how they uh, directly affected you but with uh, November 11th with this new moon in Scorpio in your 12th house this is an opportunity for you to release things that no longer serve you up until November 11th and after that you can set new goals about what it is that you want to do for yourself it's just deep energy this is deep work a lot of this work can be done in dream time or while you're meditating through 12th house activities. Um, we don't always see things clearly when the 12th house is activated, but like dreaming. You know, we can even have that type of dreamy feeling throughout the days um, at times when that 12th house is active. So if you're feeling a little foggy about stuff, keep yourself a couple weeks. Just allow it, take notes, do the best you can, don't force things. All right? All right, moving on. Now here's the, I'm going to get four aspects all together at this point. And um, this is Sagittarius energy. This is for you. So on November 20th, the first piece of Sagittarius begins. And that's Mercury moving into the sign of Sagittarius. On November 22nd, the sun moves into the sign of Sagittarius. So now we're in your sector. This is all going on in your solar first house. All right. We also have Saturn in that sector now, too. So with Saturn in the first house, it feels way better than when Saturn was in Scorpio in the 12th house. I can guarantee you that. Now it's an opportunity with Saturn moving through your first house. It was there from January to June. Then it took a little break because it was retrograde. And now it's back since September. And it will remain in your first house approximately two years. Two, two and a half. We've already had the half a year. So approximately two more years, Saturn will stay in that sector. So on November 20th and also November 29th, Mercury and the Sun, respectively, will make a connection to Saturn. What does this all mean? Saturn in the first house represents, um, I'm gonna do a separate video on that, so come to it. But um, Saturn in that first house represents, you know, we're redefining who we are and redefining our status in the world, redefining how um, where we present ourselves as an authority figure. Mercury conjunct Saturn will help you just on a brief, you know, brief day or two, the 11th, uh, the 24th, um, help you to establish how you're communicating. And then when the Sun connects with that too, Sun-Saturn conjunction is just a, a person who is very serious, very logical, very practical. So, you know, the end of November, the 20th, all the way through the end of November into December, all of this energy in your first house is an opportunity to redefine who you are and how you present yourself to the world. That first house is all about those types of things. So there's a lot going on behind the scenes for the first part of November, that 12th house stuff, a lot of personal stuff, nobody even has to know about it. And then by the time we get to the 20th and forward of November, things will start to open up for you and you'll be able to take the steps that you want because Sag does not want to be serious. Sag wants to have fun and play and enjoy what they do. The other some, some of the other signs are more serious. You are not. You know, about learning and exploring and experiencing life, so go with it. Awesome. Thank you very much. I want blessings. Please share. Please come to my website and subscribe. You are notified every time a new video is loaded. Appreciate it. Thank you.